All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back. So it's recap time, baby. So Cool Uno Nine has just put out his recent recap at Cowboy Bebop. That's right, one of the greatest animes of all time. Yes, finally. So Hot Squad, this title of his Cowboy Bebop recap is called "That Time Spike Crashed Out on Vincent Off a of Perk." So Hot Squad, without further ado, let's jump right to it. And check this out. <laughs> So Big Spike Spiegel and Electra get the fix hit on Vincent. He's on his train, so they finna go pull up on bro and blast his brains out. But nothing's ever easy for Spike Spiegel, so we gotta do mad parkour just to get on the train. I'm talking about riding and run, jump off some stairs just to jump on the train. And while the train was going fast as hell, he had to clamber down and shoot at the window just to get inside. <laughs> and once he does, it's frame one on site with Vincent. He pulls the blick out and he's like, hey bro. Don't even move or I'm blasting your brains out, big dog. <laughs> the train goes through a tunnel, and as soon as it exits out of it, Vincent ups on Spike and starts letting the yopper spray. Spike gets behind cover, and then Vincent just casually walks to the other train. And I find this a little odd, but everybody in the other train, did they not just hear 13 gunshots get fired out from the other train? Why <laughs> are they still chilling in this train car? Big bro right here reading the newspaper was closest to the other train car. You're telling me he did not hear none of that going on? And also, why is nobody suspicious of the big ass tall man in trench coat on the train? Cause bro reading the newspaper saw Vincent walk by and he was like, the hell this dude got that fit on? Is he the Undertaker or something? <laughs> Vincent don't like being called the Undertaker, so he boomed bro right in the noggin. Ooh. But after newspaper man got boomed, everybody on that train car started dipping. And now Spike and Vincent are stuck in a Mexican standoff. <laughs> Vincent calls Spike a pussy. And then Electric <laughs> comes into the train car and he shoots her right in the arm. But after that, Spike and Vincent started shooting at each other. They ran out of bullets and then Spike started running all the train seats and then he kicked the mess out of Vincent. Spike then punished with this nasty ass four piece combo. Spike sets him down right, left, body, right hook. Then he went to the body and then Spike just starts beating the brakes off of Vincent on his seat. I'm talking about bro giving out CTE like how Quagmire be giving out STDs. <laughs> And then he pulls his ass off the seat, hits him with a right hand, and kicks his ass right in the face, having his head bounce off the seat, Damn. dropping his ass. And if my head bounced off him. Oh, by the way, um, it just hit me. This is from the Cowboy Bebop movie. I have not seen the movie yet. Yes, I know. This is actually called Knocking on Heaven's Door, I believe it's called. I've not seen the movie, but I've seen every single Cowboy Bebop episode. So forgive me if it's not like in the series. Metal goddamn seat like that. I don't care if I didn't feel it, I'm throwing in the towel, cause that's crazy. I know bro's brain was doing a fustal shuffle in his head. <laughs> but Spike walks over to Vincent's body, he hems his ass up, but Vincent got the grippiest hands in the West. As he just grips Spike's sternum, piercing and squeezing. Damn. With just his bare hands, by the way. Then his ass starts turning while he's inside Spike's guts. And I don't know uh, why he was in Spike's guts when Electra right there. I'm talking about you was in there, big dog. You see Electra, what you need <laughs> anybody else for? But Spike <laughs> falls to the ground. Vincent gets up, and then Vincent strong ass grips Spike up by the neck, starts dragging Damn. his ass to the window, slams his ass <laughs> through the window. Damn. Now Spike's hanging out the train window for dear life. And then Vincent asks for Spike's name, and then he shoots her right in the chest, dropping Damn. his ass off the train into the ocean. But Electra was too late. Spike's Rubu car ran out of time. I'm mean, there was no bring your bro back from this one. And then Vincent pulls out a grenade, and the train car explodes. So Spike got healed by this short little dude. He recovered, and then he's like, all right, time to get it back in blood. So he pulls up on the scuffed Eiffel Tower, and bro is so ready for the smoke, he heard a gust of wind and upped on it. But out from the raptors <laughs> like goddamn sting comes Vincent, and Spike shoots bro two times, once in the side and then the other in the hand. But Vincent really do not care about no damn bullets. As his ass palms Spike's entire face, Ooh. Spike kicks Vincent's gun out of his hand, and he bro, what the out hell? of the way. And while Vincent was on the ground, Spike was finna shoot the mess out, bro. But yeah. Vincent kicked Spike's gun out of his hand. And now it's just regular degular hands now. And look <laughs> at this cool ass nigga Spike. Just getting ready in his stands, jumping up and down. He is finna stop. I'm doing a top tier glaze right now. I can't even lie. I'm boxing <laughs> like crazy. Spike threw this spinning kick at Vincent, but bro dodged it. But he used that momentum and came at Vincent and hit him with his nasty ass left. And Spike hits nothing but air balls off of Vince. Spike tried to throw a right, but Vincent grabbed his arm and started piecing bro up right in that tummy. He finished off said combo with this nasty sternum check. Had that man Spike drooling. Spike started stumbling, but he composed himself and hit Vincent with this nasty ass desperation palm strike. 
And that had Vince's stomach and Spike said, oh yeah, free eats. Got this Why does that man jump to the TV though? But Vince said, oh yeah, buddy, you're done. Hit his ass with a Mongolian chop. Started this. trying to piece Spike up, but he was blocking it. But then he went to the body one more time. And then Vince <laughs> knocked Spike down with this nasty ass right. Spike gets back up, bro. Bro is getting cooked. Spike tried to get this two-piece combo off, but Vincent blocked the left, parried the right, and then kicked Spike right on the chin and paused. Look at this frame. Damn. I'm talking about pinpoint accuracy. Tip of Bro's boot Jeez. right on Spike's chin. Spike a better man than me because I just would have went to sleep after that, bro. But Vincent was not done because he hit Spike with this nasty right straight. Vincent then dodged the two-piece combo Spike tried to hit on him and then punished with another shot right Damn. to the sternum. And I know Spike's insides look like that one sandwich Gumball was trying to make. And then Vincent <laughs> outs himself as a wrestling fan and hit Spike with this nasty ass Judas effect. And bro was finna stomp Spike's head in, but bro got out the way. And then Vincent and Spike just start boxing. Spike's able to get some retaliation and he hits Vincent with this nasty ass back fist punch Spike to start him combo. And then he punched bro right in the face. He was finna go for something else, but Vincent let him on and then hit him with this nasty ass arm drag. Knocking his ass into some cables. And Vincent was trying to kick Spike's ass off the scuffed Eiffel Tower. But Spike parried the kick and pushed his ass back. And then Spike starts going crazy. He turns into Chun Li with the <laughs> kicks. I'm talking about bro was not letting up. He is hammering CTE directly into Vince's brain with each kick being hit on Vince. Spike Damn. swoops the leg and then kicks the mess out of bro in the face. Then he hit bro with this nasty ass right. He tried to go for the left but eventually leaves the punch. Put Spike's ass in a hammer lock, and then with Oof. the grippiest hands of the West, he starts squeezing Spike again. But Spike preloaded that CTE into his elbow and hit Vincent three times directly square in the noggin. But Spike stumbled and sat his tired ass down. And then hmm. Vincent said, all right, well, now that you're uh, kind of, you know, now you're sleepy, bro, I'm finna continue on Damn. my terrorism plot. Spike's like, I don't even care for real, bro. I just came here to run my ones again. Hmm. But after that, Spike got up and these two started circling each other. And then they started boxing. Vincent blocked the right, but he didn't block the left, and then he got hit upside the head with his nasty ass axe handle. Then these boys start going minka, minka, minka all over the stuff Eiffel Tower. But Spike tried to kick Vincent. Vincent caught the kick, so Spike kicked him with his other leg, knocking bro back. They start going crazy a little bit, but then Spike knocked Vincent's ass down with this nasty ass spin. Oh, it was so hard to have to replay it for us. Then Spike that kid was starts nasty. balls. It turns out that big ass punk and Vincent oh, Ball was just a big ass perk 30. This play was to get everybody high off of that. And once Spike is <laughs> on his knees, Vincent holds bro at gunpoint. Then he starts trauma dumping. Electra pulls up, and now Vincent and Electra are at a Mexican standoff, and then Electra pulls the trigger. Booming bro, and it hmm. turns out that Vincent was just the biggest druggie of all time because after he got shot, he was like, wait a minute, damn, I remember, me and you Allegra used to be a thing, I was inside this nigga Spike's guts where I could have been in yours, god damn, and it dies, and then you fight, and moral of the story is, don't do drugs kids, yeah, or don't do drugs, up like Vincent, but other than that, man, I'm gonna get up out of here, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do the good stuff, and uh, yeah, I'm out of here, bye. All right, that was a good recap. I just it just hit me. It was like, okay, was this one of the episodes? I know this is from the movie. I have not seen the movie, man. Like, okay, I gotta see the movie because I finished Cowboy Bebop years ago on Hulu. Binge watched the hell out of it, and overall, I freaking loved it. Freaking loved it, man. And of course, I've seen that Netflix live at Tasha Show, which we ain't gonna talk about that. Who? But anywho, yeah, um, yeah, I, I gotta see the movie, man. Just get a better understanding. But I know Cowboy Bebop, obviously. I know my 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 knowledge of Cowboy Bebop a lot because I've seen every single episode and I freaking loved it. So, yeah. Overall, great recap, Cool 109. W recap. So, Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Cool 109's Cowboy Bebop, the movie recap. So, if you enjoyed this, please hit that button and comment share your thoughts. What is your favorite Cowboy Bebop episode? Have you seen the live action show before you saw oh, after? You saw the anime, so come and let me know what y'all think about it. So, Hot Squad, I have two Bat the Bat Zephyr recaps. So, the first one I'm going to do is a Spider Man 3 recap. So, Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that.